Happy Friday. Grim Dawn. Da, da, da. So, talking to Jeff earlier today on Discord, and well, not really talking, exchanging text messages, that kind of stuff. Discussing how much time we had left in the game. Um, we might finish it today, maybe. All doing all the content. Again, that's still kind of up in the air. We'll see. And the question is, what do we do when we're done with that? And right now, it's uh, we might go back and do some of the content that we skipped over earlier. Um, or just might start up a second run. Um, I already have... can't really see it down the bottom corner. But uh, I made a second character earlier today. Uh, looks like it might be a shaman. Because level 3 right now. And shaman looks like it might be pretty fun. Uh, we'll see. And uh, I still need to do some more digging and stuff to see what uh, class complements it. And uh, so it might be a little while before we figure that out. But anyway, so there's our possible things that might happen today. Might actually finish the first run, or might just keep going, or might buy, start a second run. We'll see. Okay, having said all that, let's get the multiplayer going. Hosting, internet, all that stuff. And start. Okay, but we are definitely playing the main character right now. Currently level 64 Sorcerer, which is a Arcanist um, Demolitionist character. Apparently when you play both those classes, you're a Sorcerer. AKA you like playing with fire. Lots of fire. That's Gimpy with his uh, nice big two-handed lance spear thing of fire. He's on fire for the most part. Um, he does have a ranged weapon if we want to use it, which is kind of cool because it drops down nice little meteors from, well, is it meteors? Some, something like little meteors, uh, randomly, like 25% chance for them to happen or something like that, which is cool. I wish I could put it on the, put that ability on the lance, but it's uh, built into the gun itself, so we can't really do anything about that. Um, Gimby. Yes. When you started the game. Did you start it up as single player, or did you change it back to it's, multiplayer? It's, it's still loading. It's still loading. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I I didn't start it up this time because the last couple of weeks, when I had already had it up and running, is when OBS didn't like that. So this time, I'm just waiting for the game to load. Sorry. I... Yeah, no, I figured that, but I was just looking at the left hand side for the join game multiplayer, and it said Gimpy in game single player. So. Oh. But I guess we'll see once you get in the game. Yeah, it's not fully loaded yet. I'm still waiting for the game to load, it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. Mukuros are all things on fire near him. No. Sadly, no. Sadly, he does not cause the world to burn. Okay, I am now in the game. Oh, okay, yeah, join game is now available. Okay, cool. And, you know, there, there are no... I couldn't find any... Oh, wait a minute, they're there. There's Calfac. Sorry, you cannot find what? Oh, I thought... I was going to say I couldn't find any uh, dummies in the, the, the new part, the, the DLC 2 stuff. And then I just... As I was saying that, I ran into them. So, apparently I didn't look too hard earlier. Because I did a little bit of respecting this morning, so so looks like uh, Jeff and Calpac are coming in. That's what the lagging is for. Okay, they're here now. So apparently, I do ether damage. Oh, that's. Needs more fire. That's a mortar. Yep, definitely gonna use more fire. And okay, is... so the way you wanted to go was to finish off the main campaign? Yep. Okay. Uh, and then are you at. I'm in the desert area. Three? I'm down in. Uh, where am I? The Conclave of Three. Yeah. Okay, if you can move up to the vanguard of the three. You have a couple of turn-ins there. Vanguard of the three. It should be up north uh, to the right of the 
something of the three, Conclave of the three. I opened up a portal too. Oh, okay. Oh, way up there. Am I doing enough fire? I can do more. My mortar doesn't work against the dummies for some reason. You have to use um, head attack to make oh, that's right. attack the dummies. That's right. That's, that's right. only for the dummies. What a wonderfully thoughtful gift you've brought me. Just what I've been asking for. Are you satisfied then? Yes. But don't think of it as some selfish endeavor. This delightful creature will join you on the front lines. Its claws will rip into the throats of the Forgotten One's servants and spill their lifeblood in Bismil's name. She closes her eyes and smiles. So, do we have a plan? The Witch Gods are united in this endeavor. All of our forces stand at the ready to assault the tomb of the Eldritch Sun and breach its gates. Join them on the battlefield. Decimate any that would stand in our way. Travel north, beyond the infernal wastes and into the remains of Corvin City. Ascend the steps to the tomb and make your way inside. Within lies a secret chamber with the power to breach the veil itself. Take this sigil. It will open the way to the Primordial One's hiding place. Enter the rift and bring an end to this grave threat. I'm ready to lead the assault. Tomb of the Eldritch Sun. Okay. So, it sounded like she gave me a pet of some kind? Oh. Well, the way she was talking, maybe not. Oh, uh, she was talking about that last monster defeated uh, last week. That stone that you put uh, close to the altar that gave her a new pet, if you will. Oh. So that monster we defeated is now re returned as a, a pet for her. Oh, well, that's not fair. I think she got the pet. We did all the work. Yeah, so that's not how it works. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Okay, well, the first thing we could probably should try to get done is one of the Corvin Basin quests, the Fate of the Bloodsworn. There's a, a crypt we gotta sort of enter that's just to the east of where we're currently at. Okay. Okay, we're moving out. East. So much poison. So much poison. Uh oh. Can zoom, up, zoom in a little bit for during fights. Should have a jump back ability. Yeah, I did, but I think I hit it. I just like jump back. I'll try it now. Oh, I know it works. It's just that during that that last fight, it just I got like almost thrown back. 
I didn't. Okay. I didn't think I did it. Yeah, sometimes the animations a bit wonky. He lasted a long time. Well, it sounds as if you feel bad for him. Kind of. Funny, I was like, I was trying out the shaman earlier, and it's like, shaman's gonna be scarier than this, I think, melee wise. Yeah, you could do some nice melee builds for shame. I think the first one I tried was uh, a lightning type build. Yeah, of... that's what I was looking at. That's where we're supposed to be. Uh, I gotta check one thing. This yeah. kid is, so this is the temple of yeah. Etap entrance. We gotta go to search for the temple of Etap. Yeah, this must be it. Okay. So there's some manuscript here we're supposed to find. I think there's a bunch of Cathonians kicking around here as well. I think we might have cleared this out already, but we didn't find the manuscript we were supposed to find. Oh yeah, we have been here before. Oh. Not just a bunch of undead. Mm. Yeah, we're supposed to find the Bloodsworn manuscript. I think it's in here somewhere, but I guess we'll see. If we don't find it, then we'll just move on. What? Oh no, it seeked back up again. Okay, it wasn't me. For a change. Must have been just a Mayan then. Well, since we're here, we may as well do the totem, I guess. Yeah, go. Okay, go. opening it. <laughs> wham bam and done. it is. Huh. 
there a secret area or something? Alright, there's cross lava. Search the temple of Ataf in the ruins of blah blah blah. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I might be in the wrong spot. I'm leaving. So, do we find it? No. There's a hit. Uh, is this a hidden area? No, it's not. Hmm. Yeah, and they didn't put a star above the entrance, so it's probably not the spot. Hmm. Hmm. Search the temple of Ataf in the ruins of blah blah blah. Tomb of the Elder Sun, is that it? Yeah, uh, might be. No, it's not it. No, I think we're kind of in the right spot. One sec, I'm gonna check some of them. Okay. How do you see your uh, quest? It's not. Is it L? No. Is it J? No, it's factions. Book? No. Character? Sorry, what was the question? How do you look up your active quest other than on the right? Okay. So look at the, the bottom left for your bar. You see the one that has the, the key on it? Oh, okay. Uh, codex window and then there's a tab on there that has it shows a key and that shows that's the, the list of okay. um, all your active quests so I only have three quests right now and they're all on my window yep no, that seems very right okay so find so the, the bloodstone manuscript that's the one we're looking for right yeah yeah okay yeah Discovered a number of blood swarm cultists' corpses thrown about. We were assaulted by monstrosities, spent summoning. On closer inspection, these blood swarm seem uh, familiar. Search the temple and the ruins of Avid, north of Vanguard. Of the three, for any clues on how these cultists were here and what they were trying to do. So, are we in the right spot? I think we were. Ah, uh, okay. One sec. Now I see where it is. We're not in the right spot. No. Oh. I'm going to get the same name then. Can you guys, one of you guys open up a rift and I'll jump right back to you? Oh, wait a minute. I can jump in my own rift, I guess. Oh, yeah, and I have both whole rifts there. Okay. Uh, I think it might be this way. Oops, run away. Too late. They found us. I just run away. But, but. You don't have to kill everything. Yeah, you do. How do you get level 100 if you don't kill everything? Uh, that's a good question. Do some backtracking. And up these stairs.
Huh. Okay, I don't know anymore. There should be a rift here. <laughs> and then it's supposed to take you to um, Chthonian realm, if you will. So I don't know anymore. Is it in this area, you think? Yeah, maybe it's one of those rifts that is in multiple different locations. Yeah, we're in the right location. Or maybe it just didn't pop up. Could be uh, a glitch in the game. But there should be like a Chthonian rift somewhere. One of those red circle thingies. Right. I haven't seen any like that. Oh well. Hmm. Broken? Nah. Yeah, I'm gonna give up on this one then. It's more sort of a side quest anyways. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. It sounded like she was sending us here, wasn't she? Or is this... Well, no. That particular one was more sort of a side quest. So I'm going to jump over to the Corvans City Rift. Opened up personal rifts. Don't you have that stuff over there? Okay, we can go after the messenger first, I guess. Okay, find the blood sworn. So no that is this way. Oh, she's here. You will Hello want again, to talk friend. to Dahlia. Okay, I have to say I was not expecting to find you here so far from the ruler land. My hunt has led me to the Corvan Basin. Uh, Dravis is close, I can feel it. How do you track Dravis here? Do you remember the flower he left me? It is native to this region, a very rare bloom indeed. Jarvis wanted to, wanted me to come here, but why? He isn't far though, he'll, so he'll, so I'll be asking him that myself soon enough. At the tip of the blade, what's your plan? Corvan Basin is a vast region, but Dravis is driven by two things: uh, power and our father's head. I strongly suspect he's headed towards what remains of Corvan City. If you find yourself headed there, be careful. Dravis should not be underestimated. How do you track him here? Now uh, we did that. Good luck. Okay. All done with her? Yep. Okay, moving on. Is that demon ours? He's ours. That's the one that we. Uh, oh, is that the one? Last week. That's her pet. That's the yeah. pet she was talking about. Yeah. We don't get a pet like that. We don't need it. You have the dog. Dog is good enough for you. Actually, no. I found the item that's giving me the dog. I finally upgraded it. <laughs> oh, no more dog. No more dog. I still have my dinosaur though, so. Speaking of dogs, we can't rock it around. Huh? 
Oh, there's some dude here too. I wonder what he's up about. Look here, if it wasn't one of Kaiman's zealots, I'm not here to fight you. There are greater that's about. Have you come to atone for your errors, or do you uh, serve the forgotten god as well? What do you mean? Oh, I think you know exactly what I mean. I chose to side with that sad bastard and this loyal band of fools back in Sorrow's Bastion. With your help, uh, he nearly wiped out all of our men stationed there. And look where that's gotten us. Here we are chasing that old fool through the, this wasteland where he plants to resurrect an ancient god that's not bent on vengeance. That's not? That? Oh, sorry, god, that's bent on vengeance, sorry. And it looks like he might just pull it off, so thank you for that. I didn't know. Of course not. It's not like we tried to warn you or anything. I suppose you were even convinced that he found a way to defeat the Chthonians. I think he may truly have believed that himself. The gullible will believe anything, particularly in desperate times like these. But that's all behind us. What matters now is what you're going to do to help, st help us stop him. You're going to help us, aren't you? Of course. I suppose, that's, I suppose that's good news. I've heard rumors of your deeds in Cairn. If any of them are true, it'll be nice to have you on our side now. Do me a favor, though. Stay away from me and my men. After what you did to, to our brothers in the Blood Groove, uh, I'm sure they'll be on edge with you around. Okay. Hold on a second. Music's a little too loud. Okay. Okay, Mrs. Gimpy's here, but I'll be talking to her, but I'll still be playing, so be back in a second. Still playing? Okay, we're gonna be moving west then. And north. Okay, I'm back. Just out of curiosity, in your guys' items, you have an item called a Blood Swarm Manuscript? Blood Swarm Manuscript. Is it a no. book? It's a book. Is it bigger it's than the item this? within your item list? If you picked it up. Is it like a piece of paper or is it an actual book? It's sort of shaped as a book. I think it takes up four slots. Okay. So it's a bigger book. Okay. You got a sigil of the three. Sigil. No. Nope. I got blood of the watchers now, that's not it. No, I don't have anything like okay. that. Or a missing one. Sorry. I was looking through my inventory. I don't multitask well. Oops, we went too far. This way. Hmm. 
of curiosity, what's your fire resistance at? 85. Yeah, you'll be fine. 51. 51? Hmm. 61. You might have some... Oh, 61. Oh, 61, you'll be fine. No. Briefly. <laughs> Just before the boss, you might want to use a fire potion, though. And he's in there. Do you have a fire potion? Yeah. Okay, you might want to use it now. Ready. You're all set? Okay, rock and roll. Oh, it's standing on the lava hurts. A lot of fire falling up. Yeah, we're in the middle of a volcano, so. Oh. Oh. Now, time for the tomb of the Eldritch Sun. So, out we go. So, that was easy to find. Oh. What's this behind us? Just opened up. Hmm? Oh, it's just stuff. It's not a very big area. It's dark. Yeah, I always thought Grim Dawn Karen is part of the DC universe or something. Probably is. Yeah. It's just funny how it doesn't seem to matter what game you're playing, it's if, uh, if there's lava involved, the map is dark. You got some mortars. Oh, yeah. Alright, starting it up. Somebody else? No, it's just popping up on the screen. We yeah, have reputation. Oh. I wonder when you get uh, honored status with a couple of the uh, different factions, that opens up a side quest for each of them once you get that. Sure. Should be getting close for homestead. Guys, Little spiders.
Hey, Hobo. Happy Friday. Yeah, they did knock me back that time. Huh. Wasn't me doing it, that's for sure. Hey, you guys. Travis. This must be the pawn my sister's been sending around to do her sleuthing for her. And now here you are, and she's nowhere in sight. I must say I'm rather disappointed that she could not have bothered to show herself, especially at the moment of my victory. He's not happy his sister's not. Fortunately for you, you're standing in my way, and I simply cannot abide by that. Oh, I'm afraid you... Oh, we have to die. Who are you? <laughs> the world may not know my name yet, but it will soon enough. I am Travis, son of the immortal necromancer and successor to his mighty mantle. I am the future of Cairn, the vessel of a thousand tortured souls. You are as a gnat to me. Bow, and perhaps I will show mercy. Vessel of a Thousand Souls. Indeed. I completed the ritual my father was too afraid of. The valiant souls buried within the necropolis now fuel my own. I am nigh immortal, nigh unstoppable. Once the power within this tomb is mine, the world will learn the meaning of true might. Unfortunately, you will not be around to see it. Hey, Fanny, welcome back. 32 deaths, is that a lot? Well, that number is slightly a inflated. Bag of water. Stretch your legs. You have been Sorry. sitting in one spot yeah. for far too long. My, aren't you full of yourself? Don't mock me. I stand on the precipice he doesn't like of being mocked. immortality and power beyond imagining. All will bow before me and despair. Your corpse will be just another stepping stone. Okay, ready to fight him? That's our option. What? No, you're supposed to make friends with him. What are you doing? Yeah, there, there's no choice to make friends with him. Oh. You got your little uh, dinosaur out? It yep. makes a big difference. Yep, he's out. Okay, go. Well, I'm ready. Boy, he was a nearly as tough as he thought he was. Well, he got me good. And it hurt a little bit, but it didn't kill us. Now you can talk to Ouroboros. Child yep. lies dead, far from the land of his birth. I've witnessed many of my progeny perish over the centuries, such as the curse of my existence. But none stung. As much as this, I thought myself above his pain, that my pursuit of atonement superseded his naive ignorance. I see now I was wrong. In my hubris, I created a monster, the force of my own undoing. Jarvis was uh, too far gone. He was consumed by his hatred for me. In another life, Perhaps he would have stood by my side as we sealed this tomb forever. I'm afraid now that duty falls to another. <laughs> I've witnessed the passing of centuries, but now I find myself wishing I had more time. Can you bring down the barrier? When Dravis confronted me at the temple steps, I saw the madness consuming his soul. But I also saw the anguish that I had wrought upon it. Dravis was unwilling to listen to reason. I erected the barrier so that he could not enter the tomb by any means. But I could not bring myself to strike down my own child. Now my powers are nearly spent. The souls flowing through my veins seek their release. I sense that my time has finally come. It appears that you and I had similar goals. Sure, whatever. The evils within this tomb must not be set free. I will lower my barrier, enter the tomb of the Eldritch Sun, and complete my task. 
vanquish the darkness and bring a momentary peace to Cairn. So, we have to uh, go in there and bring momentary peace to Cairn. I'm gonna go with that's probably not the way it's gonna go. Aw, oh, come on, Gimpy. Give peace a chance. Back your demon thingy. Wow, loud music, holy crap. That wasn't loud at all. You might want to turn that down a bit in game if you found that loud. I did, did turn it, not that the music has been that loud before. Yeah, it's kind of, especially for the boss battles, I do turn it up a bit. Hmm. That's okay, I don't need ear drums, they're overrated. So that guy was a necromancer. Yep, that was Urbrook. So that was the leader of Death Vigil. So that's the leader of the group that uh, Kalfak is part of. Oh. He was the one who was living forever. He's the father of Dahlia, the father of that other dude as well that he just, we just murdered. Right, got that. He was also imprisoned in the Temple of Torment by the uh, Arcadian leadership. He wanted to learn his secret for how to live forever, so he gave it to him. But it didn't work out very well. It turned them all into undead, which technically they were living forever, so. And another part of it, part of the curse that he gave them was that uh, all the women that gave birth during that time, instead of ch children, they turned into those flightless bird things that were fighting at one point. Ah, so that's where they came from. So he did some nasty tricks, but they did have him imprisoned for and tortured him for a couple hundred years, so I think they kind of deserved it, I guess. Jump across. Don't need to. Gotta murder. <laughs> oh, it's cheating. It's not cheating if they gave you the tool in the first place. is a good level. A lot of armors and stuff unlocks for 65. Brother Segarius, watch out for him. Dead cigarettes. <laughs> you know, you can't learn to not stand on the fire, it's not my problem.
sure glad there's no friendly fire in this game. Yeah, we should all be dead long ago. <laughs> Korvac dead. Oh no, he's a demon. Yeah. It's kind of their god, so that's why I keep calling that sort of Right. Hey, this is a hidden area. It is. Yeah, this is pretty much the last temple for, I think, the main boss is in this one somewhere. A couple of levels down. Okay. We might run into Father Korvac, Korvac. Father Kaiman as well at some point. Really? Yep, our boss. Well, ex-boss. Okay, ex-boss. Everyone, my name is Veronica and welcome to Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. So these graphics, they don't hurt your brain at all? Uh, not if I don't focus on them. Ah, uh, okay, so you just close your eyes and click it. Yeah, that works too. Please. No, I'm not closing my eyes, I'm just not focused, I guess? Kind of, it's a it's a trick I've learned uh, over the years is to look at something but not look at it. If that so makes sense. At, yeah, I think I kind of do. So you're looking at like the corner of the screen almost. Kind of. Than right at it. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. I have to do it when I watch certain some types of movies and stuff like that that have got a lot of like screen shaking going on. Those give me. Tons of headaches. I hate those kind of movies, but I've learned to just not focus on what's going on. It's kind of a like what is it? Those uh, back in the was it the early two thousands, late nineties? Those posters, you know, like three D posters. I think they called them or something, where there's hidden images in them. You know, yeah, yeah. It, like a bunch of squig. I was really good at those because <laughs> I because I had already learned. Um, how to do that? How to do the the non-focusing? You know, looking at uh, look at something without having to be focused on it. So, so. makes sense. All right, I went in the hole. There's just some games I can't get around it, like uh, some of the Pathfinder dungeons and Kingmaker and stuff. The purple ones, I can't get around those because the whole screen is purple, <laughs> and purple is my bad color. So it's just like, uh, doesn't matter where I, you know, even when I try to, you know, not focus on anything, it's just the screen is just full of purple and it just, it just kills me.
So what are we looking for? Uh, for an entrance to go further down to eventually confront uh, Korvac. Oh, okay. I'm sure we'll just murder us all. Yeah. So is this the end then? This would be close kind to of the, the end. end of the second DLC. Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't realize we were that close. Yeah, that's why I sent you that. Yeah. Thing in now I understand a little bit more, or a little bit better. Well, there's a secondary side quest to this. It's quite big as well. It will take some time that we can do. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, don't worry about it when it happens. Yeah, we'll probably get to core back for the next half hour, 45 minutes. But in the second DLC, they got a really nice long side quest. It's kind of interesting as well. Okay. Shrine doing it here. <laughs> oh, whenever you guys are ready. All right, starting it. Where's our boss there? Yeah. I Uh, yeah. Killed him. I think the term was probably murdered on this, probably closer to it. Anyways, the push, devotion point for all. Yeah. Any devotion points? Um. What are they doing? I was doing the behemoth. I thought you were done with the behemoth. Yes, I did. Oh, I didn't assign his special ability thingy. Oops, that's not good. What is it? Giant's blood. Giant's blood flows to your veins. It can carry blah, blah, blah. So is it an ability? Or just always on. Yeah, it's a healing ability, so you gotta tie it to one of your skills. If it's tied to one of your skills, then you're using it. If it's not tied to your skills, then it's just sitting there not doing anything. Alright. Oh, you can put it on anything. Ah, okay, I see. But what you got to remember is it'll only proc if that other one is active. With the skill that you pick. Hmm. So for that particular one, you probably want to tie it to... A skill that you always have active, since that's a it's a very good ability to put the giant's blood. Yep. Oh shit! I was supposed to be assigning a point there. Um, devotion. More fire. I right, did that one. Did that one. Ah, meteor shower. Everybody has to say, oh, no, we definitely want that. 15 green stuff. Um, looks 
listening degree. Eldritch. Are you trying to do Aldrin's torch? Uh, I'm going to be working on... I don't know. It's the one to the far left. Um, Were you working on Magi before? Or Magi? Magi? It's done. Okay. If you were interested in Meteor Shower for Osrin's Torch, you need another one before that, so I recommend either Hawk or Candle. Hawk or Candle. If you're using your pistol still, or a rifle, I'd recommend Hawk. If you switch to something else, Candle is okay too. Candle. Where's Candle? Candle, Candle, Candle. Uh, just type Candle, it should pop up. It should be in the bottom part, if I remember right. And it looks like a candle. Oh, I mean the one over on there that looks like a candle. Yeah, that would be it. It's all the green stuff, so that's what we need. So, elemental damage, that'll work. stuff. Okay, all set. Oh yeah, let's rock and roll. Another hidden area somewhere, but I usually can't find the other one. I see a star. Yeah, the oh, star is the next door. level we're supposed to go to. Okay. And uh, oh, it looks like dog cams on. I didn't even know Miss Skippy was leaving. It's okay. There, so dog cam is live. I just went back out. The true line. dogs or with the uh, alternate reality dogs? They're the real dogs. They're currently sleeping, but it's the real ones. How can you tell the difference? Um, the alternate reality dogs don't breathe so well. Okay, well, this dude we got to talk to, so. Oh, that's the game. Hope your fire resistance is good. Of course it is. Throw fire around all the time. So now you understand that I did what I had to. He did what he had to do. So, Father Kaiman. Uh, no, now I see just how you aren't saying you are. Please stop this madness. I can't let you do this. Um, I can't let you do this. It is beyond stopping. Korvac is risen, and his revenge upon the false gods will be absolute. You are but a gnat caught in the hurricane. Turn back now, and perhaps you will be spared. False gods. You do not know. The very gods you chose to serve are nothing more than lies. The three are not true gods, merely usurpers who will get their just rewards. Korvac is humanity's only hope against Cathan and the legions of the void. Korvac and Kathan don't like each other. You're delusional. I did what I had to. He's angry Humanity now. Humanity already lost this war. We require the aid of a greater power. Well, say something nice and get him back on your good side. Of Not a choice. All else. Some deaths are inevitable. 
A small price to pay. Just talk reason with them. I'm sure he'll turn around. Yeah, unfortunately, the only choice is to, you know, punch him in the face. Wow, that's not good. A lot of fire. And Calvac is dead. Oh shit. So did I. My my health just disappeared in like two seconds. Oh, well, I don't have damage output, so I gotta wait for you guys. So I'm running around. I opened up a portal just outside of his area. At least I think I did. <laughs> so right you now did. I'm running. Run, run, run. Yeah, even 85% fire resistance didn't help too much there. Yeah, he can, he's got some... Well, you can't stand right by him because he's got a couple of attacks that hits like a ton of bricks. And he killed me again already. Oh, that's two. Oh, no, 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 don't do the counter now. Why? Well, I don't want to die. Save me. <laughs> okay, bring back. Don't forget your buffs. Yes. Don't forget to grab your tombstone first, too. You disappoint me, Kaiman. Oh, you he killed him. Oh, he's dead, dead. He's still the kill. Probably you with the mortar. Mortar. So I didn't get one of my. You only have one cross. Yeah, tombstone yeah, at once. So if you die before you grabbed your tombstone, you yeah. lose all that experience. It's not That's a lot, okay. but it's no. not gonna worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. Anyways, he's dead. Good job, yeah, team. Yeah. Okay, so I'm heading down. More. More, more, more. Oh, yeah, this part. What's this? Algid Gate is sealed by powers beyond your comprehension and may only be open with the signal of the three. Use the signal. Oops, wrong button. There. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that mortar would do much. No. Okay, it's open. Pretty wimpy. You grab the book. Yep. Poison. Sort of. Dangerous domain is this? Oh. Yeah, that's a dangerous domain. Oh, now's a good time to increase your uh, death counter. Oh, already done. We're up to 34. 34. Cool. Should be a lot lower than that, but, you know, something happened. I did warn you guys. Did you? I said fire. Well, no, I wasn't worried about the two deaths. It was the 20 some odd deaths before that, or 15, or whatever it was. A couple of weeks back, remember that? Oh yeah, well, that was that was purely my fault. Yes, I thought we could take him, but obviously not. Yeah, and we were dumb enough I, to keep I, trying. I did neglect to mention that he was probably one of the toughest bosses in the entire game. So that's that's on me. <laughs> well, it's not exactly we're not exactly blameless because we kept trying. Uh... He got pretty close to death a couple of times, but then he hits another phase where he starts regenerating like crazy. So it's yeah. Yeah, he's a cheater. And admittedly, I think I've only ever killed him once. Oh. I don't even bother trying with him anymore. Oh, 
some spooky music. It's not really spooky music so much as sad music. Sad. No, it's kind of, you know, the low tones and whatever you want to call it. I'll find a more sort of eerie type music. I wouldn't say it's sad. It makes me sad. Oops, wrong inventory is full. Hey, going to the star. So, next level? I think that's either it's the next level or it's where Korvac is. I guess we'll see soon. Oh. Yeah, this is the Korvac one. So, uh, he's big on fire, obviously. Uh, he's got some moves that is, seems kind of cheap. Lately. Once he gets down in health, <laughs> you really he gets some uh, power moves that can be a pain in the ass. So I opened up a portal just outside of here. Um, yeah, if you got a uh, fire spell, it'd be good to use. If you got one of those healing booster ointments, that'd be good to use as well. Healing so now booster would be the time to use it. Thirty second duration on that one. You've... Yeah, I know there's one that's uh, longer. Um, let's see if I got one. Oh, I do. Uh, one second, I'll give you guys something. Oh, if I have room, just a second. Yeah, I got room. Royal jelly. Oh, okay. Then you probably want to split that and give one to Calfac. Open. Well, if Calfac's good, good, then okay. Okay. Okay, I'll let you guys lead once you're ready. Yep, I'm good. Okay, block uh, south. Oh, he's all tied up, the poor guy. Aw, should we shoot him? <laughs> oh wow, that's gonna be the easiest battle ever. Just kill him up there. Or not. You just shot him down, good, good, I know. good job. I know. Do what I can. That swirly attack, once it gets centered in the middle, don't stand in the middle of that. Circle fire things, those are bad. Made a friend. Reality. Um, 
Chaos. Oh no, he's not dead yet. Oh. Is he almost dead? No. I'm <laughs> Are we actually done, or is it just fake finish? Well, he kind of blew up there, so I think he's done. Okay. Never know with these guys. So congrats, he just beat the game. We we win. Level 72 weapon. Yeah, at 65 you should be getting stuff up to level 72 at least. The game's pretty good for dropping stuff that you can use later on. Yeah, yeah it, definitely. Okay, I think that's it for stuff. So I'll jump it in the portal in the middle. Then taking a portal to the Vanguard of the Three. That was. I don't know. That's a personal portal too. Sell some stuff. Give you a good price of what I've got left. It's with the heavy breathing. Oh, that's in the game. I know. That's what I mean was with heavy breathing. <laughs> oh, that's this thing down here. The that whirlpool that these seers open. Oh. Yeah, the Drake dudes, they, they're heavy breathers. For whatever reason. See what's left of my wares.
think it's just looking at echoes real quick to see if uh, we're keeping this armor. that one. Oh, I guess supposed to talk to people too, huh? Welcome back. Yeah. yeah. We're done. Hi, you banished the messenger. Then why do I still sense his presence? Why does his fury still cloud my visions? Perhaps it cannot truly be killed, at least not by any means known but to us. I will leave you, but there may be something we don't know about this being. I'm concerned that this is not the end of, this, of its malice. I'm pretty sure it's dead. Okay, the next spot we should probably quickly stop in is Corvin City Rift. It's north of us. Let's star, just a second. Indala. The fates are pleased with them today's turn, and yet, blood. Ah, but I digress. Emissary seeks your presence back at the Conclave. Where's Basilla? The webmistress is gone to where I cannot say. Perhaps the emissary knows. What does the emissary want with me? Emissary want with me. Let's string us, blah, blah, blah. Speak with him yourself and learn which path is yours. Very well. So who's that supposed to be? This guy? Thank you for your assistance. So it's another Fenex, whatever. All the stuff. Where is she? Very well. So why is that still a star? I don't know. Where are we supposed to go? I opened up a uh, personal rift. It's just to the northwest of you. In southwest? South? No, north. Mm. Maybe I'm not where I think I am. That's okay. Oh, okay, you were somewhere else. Anyways, I opened up a portal. You should probably tell Dolly what you did to her father. Hello again, my friend. <laughs> I have to say, I was not expecting to find you here so far from Urulat. My hunt has led me to the Corvin Basin. Dragged this is close, I can't feel it. Yeah, we already killed him. Uh, blah. What's your plan? Um, there's no option to tell her that I, we killed him. Hello again, my friend. Then this one's fucked up. Okay, never mind. Yeah, there's no option to say that, that we killed him. Yep, no, it was doing the storyline of before you killed him, which is kind of weird, but that sometimes happens. Anyways, yeah, Kalfak? No, one thing. Uh... I found a drop from the the enemy. You go uh, left from the map and pick it. So 
I think I can find the way to end the quest. Ah, there it is. Oh. Hey, Ben, welcome back. Happy Friday. Did it work? Hey, where my dinosaur go? Oh well, anyways, uh, we can head off to the conclave of the three, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Korvac's anguished cries have echoed across realities. Korvac's anguished cries cries one of them about. Yes, Korvac is no more. His cult has been crushed. Even now, his scattered followers are being hunted down and eliminated. The forgotten god will soon be a distant memory. Without a vessel, his powers will wane, and he shall fade into nothingness. Never again will the people of Cairn have to fear for their lives at the mercy of Korvac's fickle temper and destructive malevolence. Know that the witch gods are grateful for your sacrifice, even if they do not thank you in person. Wherever your journey leads next, their eyes will be upon you. Here, a prize from the gods themselves. They gave us a prize. What will the cults do now? We must ensure that none of Korvac's followers survive what happened here. If belief in Korvac persists, then a spark of his being shall remain. We must snuff it out while we can. He said he will never again be a threat. Korvac will never again be a threat of the magnitude we faced this day. That I promise you. Without a vessel to contain his primordial form, his powers will wane. And should he ever hope to return to Cairn, the Witch Gods will see to his demise. But if he is truly forgotten... Korvac said the Eldritch Realm was his. Why? Do not think to believe the snake tongue of that being. It spreads naught but lies. The Eldritch Realm is the domain of the three, now and forever. Okay, well, uh, how old are you? No, I don't care about that. I, mean, I see. So, that's what they gave us. Nars, Arcane Destroyer. This little crossbow. We be level 66 to use it, though. At least level 66. almost there. Yeah, almost. I wouldn't use it anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Cocktails were concocted when more conventional explosives are on slow or low. The improvised fire bombs have a self sealed blaze upon impact and are particularly effective against tighter packed enemies. Ten percent chance on attack. <laughs> Ten percent is actually pretty good. I guess it depends how often you're killing stuff or hitting stuff.
so much fire. Yep, you can get even more. So at this point, yeah, it's pretty much more sort of side quests, hidden area type stuff. Um, I recommend we either do... If we could do the Lost Oasis, which is a continuation of... Um, part of the second DLC, it's it'll take us quite a while to get that done. Or we could do a run of the Ancient Grove, which is back in the Ogenbog, which fight a pretty tough monster at the end of that one, which is kind of fun. Uh, that's the first DLC? Yes. Okay. Well, sure. Do that one, I guess. Ancient Grove first. Okay, Ancient Grove. So that's in... Looking at the map. It's that time again. We have to go to the Some Coven Refuge Rift. Brain moist. Coven? Or Coven? Oh, okay, Coven. That's what I said. <laughs> it's your accent. It throws me off. You can only imagine what Calfax going through. Two horrible English accents he's got to listen to all the time. Well, I'm told Canadian accents are much more easier to understand than your American gruff accents. Uh -huh. Anyways, we got to go east. It's always east. Hiding and sleeping. Apparently. Avatar of Mog Dragon. I have been watching your progress and I believe that you may be just the one I need. Will you raise yourself above your ilk and bring peace to this region? What do you ask of me? With my attention turned elsewhere, I must turn to another to cleanse a sacred place. Uh, I hope that you are capable of the task. The savage wilderness of the ancient grove is dear to me, but with the recent calamity it has become corrupted by the very forces you battle against. Ethereal and Chthonic taint now threatens to overwhelm the fragile ecosystem within and uh, spill forth into the surrounding environment. Deep within the grove, in the heart of the forest, a once proud guardian has fallen to the infestation. Should it escape the confines of the grove, it could wreak an unimaginable destruction upon your people. Though it pains me to say it, it falls to you <laughs> to enter the grove who and dispatch this one once magnificent creature. Will you deal with this threat? Sure, when I got a better to do. Oh, then we go into the tree? Then we go into the tree. 
Okay. Where's Yoda? What? Yoda made us made somebody go into a tree once. It went badly. It looked kind of like that tree. I wouldn't know. Oh. Didn't Yoda live in a tree? Eh, kind of, sort of. More like a stump, I think. Which is well, technically a tree. Is from a tree isn't it? Yeah, technically it is a tree. You look a shrine. Hey, devotion level. Another devotion point. Okay, I was working on the candle, which is on the right hand side. Seek defensive ability element eight percent elemental resistance. Sure. Evil plants and animals. It's always good, I guess. Could be worse. Uh, evil plant animals or animal plants? I guess that would be worse. Yeah, I guess would be. I was thinking more of the line fighting a bunch of undead. Evil kittens or something, but whatever. Yeah, undead aren't that bad. Typically. Sometimes. Well, depends on the undead. Some are worse than others. Yeah, I'm supposed to be looking at my factions, aren't I? Just keep knowing it. Once you get to honored, that opens up the side quest stuff. 
you should be getting close to Ironic for Homestead. We gotta do something for Homestead soon. You lost Jeff. Where'd he go? Their heroes aren't very heroic. Well, we are kind of ganging up on them. That's what makes them supposed to make them heroic. They can do take on the people that gang up on them. That's the whole point of being a hero. <laughs> ah. Oh, that cat can be pretty tough. Never mind. Must have been a hero. Yeah, yeah, he was a hero. Anyways, here's the door we're supposed to go through. Now is a good time to actually dump some stuff, though. So I'm going to quickly jump back to the prison and... Or... Actually, I'll jump back to the cove and I'm just going to dump some stuff. Because once you, you open that door, you can't open up uh, portals anymore. Okay. So, another monster. I came back. Almost. This area will probably take us maybe half an hour, no more than 45 minutes, I would say. It's your portal, though, right? No. Well, I have a portal, you have a portal. I see lots of portals here. Okay. You ready as well, Kalfak? Yeah. Okay, I'm opening the door. It's been opened. Oh no. So this isn't part of the main storyline. This is a side quest thing? It's a side quest thing. Wow. There's lots of that within the game. Because we skipped the entire hidden path section of the main game, which is more side quest than anything else. And the Lost Oasis as well, which is part of the second DLC, is more sort of a side quest. Just a reminder, if you guys die, you can't come back, eh? Oh, okay. It's one of those areas. So, don't die. Careful. Don't die.
I'll be honest, usually I die before finishing this quest. The main boss always gets me for whatever reason. <laughs> He's got this um, attack where he literally just sits down and if I don't time it right, he just kills me right away. But that's on the next level, we won't see him for a bit. Kill it. I'm not killing it. Yeah, I just yeah. clicked on an accident. It's a like vendor. Yep, he's a vendor. So, level 70 stuff. Yep, we saw some good stuff, I remember, right? Recipe. So, recipes always get those. Learn, but you know what looks like. Oh, you can learn, even though you can't make them or use the stuff, you can still learn the, the recipes. That's good to know. Yep, well, if it's a recipe that you haven't learned yet, then yeah, you can learn them. And then that's also unlocked for any other future characters that you build for this game as well. Right, right, right. So either we're going to work our way northward towards the, the boss door, or there's a fun area towards the southwest as well, if I remember. Forever. Southwest it is. Trial of Corruption. But yeah, it's no one of those areas where you got multiple waves of monsters trying to kill you. Yeah. It's fun. Oh, wait, no, we have to use the other door. Sorry, one sec. That was a back way. We remember that spot in Port Valbury where we got attacked by multiple waves? It's similar to that. Okay. Ooh, a chat. So he he can't come back? Well, uh, if he's got a key, he can open it up again and come back to us, but... He can't, he can't portal in memory here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Laggy. So we can't open the door for him? Well, no, actually, we can go back to the, the entrance, and I assume he's got some skeleton keys that can open up the door again. I think it, I it have It says he cannot be reopened. Really? On this issue. At least. Mm. No. I thought you'd be able to open it up again. I've got two skeletons of keys if that matters. Yeah, but you have to be beside him to actually give it to him. Oh. Uh, skeleton key. But it won't let you open the door. No, uh, it says 
Uh, it cannot be reopened on this AC. Mm. And you have, and you do have a skeleton key. Yeah. Yes. Huh. That's odd. We'll not reopen again this session. So you can only do it one. Oh, that sucks. I sort of assume you could just reopen it. That's what I normally do if I die and I want to go back in and just use another skeleton key to get in. So when they say ses session, we just all have to just like restart the game basically. I would or think. Die. All right. Oh, we all die. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. No. Where'd you go, Jim? I lost Jim. Oh, I went back to the gate. To uh, watch poor Kyle try to open the it door. It's time to take a break. Go check on the dogs. Hmm. No, I didn't think it was going to work that way. Your next break is in two hours. Hey, Rock is saying it's time for a break. Okay, what we can try then is, um, you want to do a restart then? See what happens. You can see what happens, yeah. Okay, I'm going to quit the game then. I'm kind of curious. Okay, quitting game. Okay, exit the main menu. Guess I should quit all the way out, right? Or do yeah, I just probably the smart thing to do? That'll yeah. clear up any memory and other crap. Okay. So while that's happening, I'm going to get up, uh, get some water real quick, and because it will take a couple of minutes to get everything restarted. So, um, come on. Wait for it to kick me out. Okay. Okay. Game started and uh, started a minutes or seconds. It's warm today. Unable to sink. Steam was recently unable to sink from Grim Dawn. Steam cloud. Uh, what? In our previous game for Argus, we make permanent and things. I thought we did not do that yet, though. <laughs> anyway, happy Friday, Mark. Okay, game is starting. Uh, be back in a few minutes. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the dog. Be back in short.